some key important uh, elements of a, uh, providing for a bi-directional interaction between patients and, and clinicians in helping to uh, bring light and identify narcolepsy early on. We know that narcolepsy is a pediatric condition. It's, it's often manifesting early on in the uh, patient's uh, adolescent years, but unfortunately, it's often diagnosed very uh, much, probably at 10 years afterwards on an average. So there is a, almost a decade of a delay between the onset of a disease until it's eventually diagnosed. And part of the problem is that clinicians are often um, not very well attuned to the symptoms of narcolepsy. They may not recognize what cataplexy appears to be. Cataplexy uh, is very brief. It, it's not often seen in a physician's uh, office, so it may not be uh, validated. But um, there is a huge problem, I think, in our society in that uh, patients are being labeled in a certain way. So for a patient who initially sees their primary clinician early on and the patient is being labeled as lazy, depressed, inattentive, having attention deficit disorder, and receiving inappropriate treatment that goes on for decades is often uh, very problematic. So I think there is a, an issue related to physicians' uh, education, particularly in recognizing the symptoms of narcolepsy and when to evaluate and how to evaluate those patients, to um, patients often uh, um, being partners, really, in this uh, uh, interaction by reading more about narcolepsy and actually uh, letting physicians know when they think that the diagnosis may be more than just depression or more than just um, attention deficit disorder. I'll give you a, an example. I had a patient in Los Angeles a few years back who um, uh, was having fits of losing uh, muscle tone as when she was in soccer uh, practice and every time she hit the ball she would get excited hit the, uh, and, and fall to the ground and, and was temporarily uh, paralyzed. So uh, the school administration thought well she must have a psychiatric condition and couldn't really label it uh, anything but a psychosomatic or psychiatric condition. She was seen by a psychiatrist given a uh, fluoxetin because it was thought that she may have uh, depressive symptoms. The fluoxetine actually worked. It worked in controlling what are truly bona fide cataplectic episodes, but for the wrong reason. But her mom went online and realized there's something more to it. And that's, I think, where a partnership when a family member, a parent, or a patient themselves can do additional reading and validate some of the symptoms and bring to the attention of the clinician when the clinician may not have the diagnosis, say, figured out correctly.